Hi, this is Julian Lancaster. I'm the Director of Systems Engineering for Smart Deploy. Today, we're going to do a quick demonstration of the new features in release 1040. In this release, there are two main new features. The first one is patch management. This is a phase one feature, which is at the moment just focused around Windows updates, helping you get some visibility into the state of the machines in your environment, as well as giving you some functionality to facilitate pushing Windows updates to those machines. Secondly, we have a new report which shows you the top installed applications in your environment. Let's get into a quick demonstration of how both of these new features work. Okay, so here we are in the Smart Deploy console that we should all be familiar with, and this is basically just a list of all the machines that we have in our environment. Um, in this one, you'll notice that we have two machines which have been updated to the most recent client version, 1040. There is a Windows 10 machine, there is a Windows 11 machine. This feature works on both of those operating systems without any difficulty. Um, you will, of course, have to update any machines that you want to do patch management with to the latest version for it to work. So just bear in mind that those won't appear in the patch management until you do, but if you don't are, then you can head over there and you'll see these are the two machines which are the latest version and we can see one of them is, has two pending Windows updates and the other one has got everything installed and is completely up to date. Just by using the screen, therefore, you can look at the status and just determine kind of across your organization which machines are troublesome or not. You can also use the filters to sort of filter it down to ones in a particular state. If you're just looking at ones which are pending or if or if they um, are in a, if they failed installation and you want to go back and have a look at them, then you can go back and filter that way to find out. But uh, but for here, we've got this one that's installed and we have one that's just troublesome. It needs Windows updates installed. So we're going to click on that machine and then click install updates and that will bring up the install windows updates screen which has got all the options for how you want to particularly deploy this uh, this set of windows updates um, like a lot of the other features in the smart deploy you can do this over cloud or a local network um, this is just a method of, of communication with the client also we can defer the updates so that they don't interrupt someone who's working on that machine doing something super important and of course, just like with other features in Spider Deploy, you can schedule it for later. Okay, so for this example, we're just going to use the local network because we've got everything connected locally. Click Finish, and that will, and click OK, and that will basically confirm the update installation. So it isn't 100% necessary, but we're going to go back into computer management to sort of show what's happening under the hood. At this point, you can kind of just leave it going, and it will do the update for you. There's no additional work here to happen. Um, but if we go over to computer management and then go into all computers and click on the machine in question, you can see that the Windows updates are scheduled. And uh, just using the same icons as you would for like an application to pack deployment. But if you click into that machine, you can see the message here for the Windows update that's pending. And this is where if you want to kind of like closely track what's happening just while you're getting used to this feature, this is where the messages are kept so you can have a look at that. Okay, so we'll give this a minute and it'll, the status will change from pending to completed and that's how we'll know that the Windows update has been successfully installed on the client machine. Okay, so we can see this message status is uh, changed to completed, which means that the Windows updates are all finished. If we go back to patch management, we can now see that both of these machines have the pending Windows update 0 and status installed, meaning everything's up to date. So the last thing we want to look at is these is the reports and underneath the reports as well as the two old ones there's this new software assets report this shows again the top 10 installed applications in your environment if you select uh, one of these in this case we're going to we're going to pick on microsoft onedrive here if we click through to that we can see across our environment very simply just a view of which versions of this are installed across all of the devices in our organization all right, that was just a quick demonstration of the new features in release 1040. If you're interested in updating and using these new features, the install process is just the same as usual. Run the setup package and you can install it straight over the top of your old console. And then of course, any of the endpoints that you want in your environment to make use of these features will have to have the agent updated to the latest version too. Since this is a phase one release of this feature, we're really interested in hearing your feedback, what did work, what didn't work, where you'd like to see it go next. If you could send any of those thoughts to feedback at we would really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching today, and we'll see you next time.